Hi, you must be my next patient. Come on in, have a seat. I see we have you in for a face exam today, is that right? It's a little bit of an unusual exam. Is there anything going on? No, just wanted to get checked out, make sure everything was good. It's not a problem. So during this exam, I will need to touch you quite a bit. Is that okay with you? Wonderful, thank you. So to go over the basics, we're going to be doing a visual inspection of your face and your skin. I will have to be getting it very close during this exam. We will also be testing your skin elasticity as well as your sensation and response to different physical stimuli on your skin as well as documenting any kind of adverse reactions or any kind of new discoveries we might find, okay? All right, so just look straight at me, and we are going to start by doing a visual inspection of that face of yours. Good. I'm just going to gently touch around and look very closely at your skin. doing okay. Just stay still for me. You're doing wonderful. All right. Now let's just have some basics. Just going to apply a little pressure to different parts of your face. You let me know if there's any pain. So we're going to start up here. We're just going to apply a little pressure to the forehead. So we're just going to press, 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 press. Any pain there? Good. How about we press, press on the temples? Press, press. Press, press. Press, press. Any pain? Good. If we do the T-zone, we just go press, 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 press. Press, 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 press. Press, 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 press. Pain? Good. That's what we like to see. No pain is a wonderful thing. So why don't we do a little more testing on that face? I'm just going to do a little tap, 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 tap around your face, okay? So I'm just going to tap, 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 tap. You let me know if there's any pain. Any pain whatsoever? All right, good. So, similar to the tapping, we're gonna do a little percussing around your face, just like that. You let me know. Any pain? Any pain? Good. 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 Good job. Wonderful. I like what I've seen so far. No issues. However, I am going to get a little bit closer to you. I'm going to use my light here and I'm just going to do a visual skin inspection. I'm just going to go
I'm gonna grab a little bit of a brighter light here. Same thing, just gonna inspect that skin. Yeah. You're doing a wonderful job though. Thank you so much. Good. It's gonna be a-okay, I promise. You're doing great. have the initial visual inspection done, and I haven't seen anything of concern. We are going to move on to getting a few more in-depth details and doing some more testing on that face of yours. So to start, we're going to take a few measurements, such as the forehead distance here. It's perfect. Right in line with where it should be. And distance forehead to chin. Perfect. And the width of your eyes here. How far apart they are. Beautiful. Okay. And the width of each eye. Okay. This one. Okay. And that inner distance between the eyes. Length of the nose. Okay. Bottom of the nose, top of the lip. Okay. And bottom of the lip to the bottom of the chin. Wow. You know what? I have to say, um, based on these measurements, your face fits the golden ratio, which means scientifically, you are beauty perfected. So, that's something to feel good about. Yeah, you can smile about that. That's always fun. Well, I do want to take a few more precise measurements with my calipers here. So, if you would just be so kind to stay still. And if you'd like, you can close, close, close those eyes while I take these measurements. say that the golden ratio holds true for you. By the numbers, your face is absolutely perfectly symmetrical and proportioned. However, there was something I noticed earlier when I was doing my up-close inspection, and that was that when I did a quick pinch and pull, pinch and pull, pinch and pull of your skin, I noticed that the elasticity was quite, quite great. You might have a excess of collagen, because if I pinch and pull, pinch and pull, pinch and pull, squeeze, 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 hmm, squeeze, 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 pinch and pull, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You may actually have one minor condition, which is called squishy cheek syndrome. It's not a bad thing, and most people with it are considered quite cute. But I 
I do think you might have it. So if you don't mind, we're going to do a couple tests where I'm just going to gently poke your skin. It's not going to hurt. This is completely dull. But I just want to see how much squish that your cheeks actually have. So let's just... Yep. Okay. Poke. 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 Yeah. There definitely seems to be a very high level of squish in those cheeks. So... Do you mind if I run a few squish tests on you? Just to check. So we're just going to squish, squish, squish. Hmm. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. I'm just gonna try one cheek here. Squish. 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 Alright. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a pinch on your cheek, and I'm just going to squish and pinch, and I'm just going to poke it a little bit with this stylus. It's very dull, it won't hurt, but poke, 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 poke. Hmm, that is a very high level of squish. Let me check this other cheek here. We're just going to squish, squish, squish. Okay, let me squinch it. Squish, squish. Squish and hold and poke, poke, poke. Squish and hold, poke, poke, poke. Yes, you definitely have squishy, squishy, squishy cheek syndrome. Squish, 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 squish. But don't worry, many people live very long, happy healthy lives with squishy cheek syndrome but it's okay squish squish do you mind i'm going to test some other parts of your face to make sure that the squishiness hasn't migrated beyond the cheek region so let me check your chin here we're just gonna squish squish that chin squish squish that chin squish squish that chin in your forehead i'm just gonna kind of grab a little bit of skin and squish Squish, good, nothing on the forehead. Let's try your ears though, real quick. I'm just gonna squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. All right, that doesn't feel too bad. Let me try the other ear here. So let's try it later. Squish, squish, squish. 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 squish. Any pain on that ear? Good. It doesn't seem that the squishiness has moved to the ears yet. Normally you'll find it in the earlobe most of the time, but sometimes you can get to the upper ear and look like cauliflower ear, but it's not. It's just squishy cheek syndrome. Squish. Just like you have. That's all right. Squish. Squish. But since you do have squishy cheek syndrome, I would like to test your sensitivity. As sometimes people with squishy cheeks can have much higher, higher reactions to physical touch and stimuli, and that can make you a little more sensitive. So, we want to make sure that your sensitivity levels are where they should be. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the stylist again, which we're going to call dull, just like that. And then I'm going to use the end of this tool, as you can see, also dull, but a little more of a point. We're gonna call this sharp. So dull and sharp, dull and sharp, dull and sharp. I'm gonna press your cheek with the dull, just like that. And now with the sharp. So you can tell the difference, okay? Wonderful. Let me go ahead and Close, close, close those eyes for me. Keep them closed, to keep them closed, to keep them closed. And we are just going to touch those squishy cheeks. So here we go, and touch. Sharp, good, touch. Dull, very good, touch. Dull again, touch. Dull again. 
again, touch, sharp, touch, dull, touch, sharp, touch, dull, very good, touch, sharp again, touch, dull, touch, dull, touch, sharp, good. We're going to keep that same task going, keep those eyes closed. Except this time, I want you to tell me if it's dull or if it's soft. Dull, soft, dull, soft. All right, right on those squishy, squishy cheeks. So here we go. And touch, soft, good. Touch, dull, touch, soft, touch, dull, touch, soft, touch, soft. Dull touch, soft touch, dull touch, soft touch, dull touch, soft, good. Keep those eyes closed for me. I'm going to bring in another object. You let me know if you can feel this on those squishy, squishy cheeks. Can you feel that? Good. Good job. It's a brush. Feel on that squishy cheek. Good. How about? Good. How about that? Good. Feel that? Good. We do get concerned sometimes these squishy, squishy cheeks can become too squishy. And then you don't feel as much. Just keep those eyes closed. I'm going to bring in another tool here. You let me know if you can feel this on the squishy cheeks. It's very soft. Very soft. Good. Can you tell me what it is? Can you identify what this is? On your squishy cheeks. On your squishy, squishy cheeks. Squish, squish, squish. And yes, it's a brush. Just tell me if you don't feel it. We want to make sure those squishy, squishy, squishy cheeks retain all of their sensation. Good. Keep those eyes closed. One more tool. One more tool. Tell me. Does this feel the same or different than the last one? Different, good. Good. Just gonna keep touching those squishy, squishy cheeks. So much squish, squish, squish. It's probably one of the cutest cases I've ever seen. I have to say that you do wear the squishy cheeks quite well. All right, go ahead and open your eyes. Open, open, open. Good. You can go ahead and blink, 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 blink. Wake those eyes up. Okay. How you doing? Squish, squish. All right. Well, that will conclude our exam for today. I can say that your face is perfectly healthy. We did find some squishy cheek syndrome, but that is okay. Squish. It is not progressing too fast for you, so you are going to have a very long and happy squishy cheek filled life. All right, so why don't you go home, get some rest, relax, watch your favorite show, maybe go to bed early, and get a good night's sleep. And don't forget to hydrate and keep those squishy cheeks smiling and if you ever need us you know where to find us we'll see you again soon have a great day bye bye